Hi, I'm Michael Contreras. I'm a 3D product engineer for Esri. And I want to show you a couple of cool things that we've been doing uh, with 3D. Uh, this is kind of very new. So let me show you uh, some of the things. So here, this RGS Pro, right? And we're looking at a 3D uh, logo scene. And let's say I want to work with models, with 3D models. Well, the quick and easy way to actually add a model here, so it's through a multi patch feature. Once you have your template over here, simply just click on the tool to just add a new model and then select which model do you want? In this case, I want a collada of this hotel. Click on it, and then after that, you can see how a little preview of the model is here, and now I have the actual model to be placed anywhere I want. In this case, this is the location that I kind of want to put in here. Once I get over there, then that's it. Very quick and easy, I was able to just place a model. However, what if I want to create a model from scratch, right? When I want to actually create something completely from scratch. So I'm gonna click on this other tool that allows me to interactively start sketching a 3D model. For example, I'm gonna start over here, right? I'm gonna see how I'm sketching on this side. You can see the inferences that I get telling me that I'm at 90 degrees. Now I can simply just interactively create a simple cube. However, not only that, let's say I would like to do like a detailed roof, go from the midpoint to another midpoint, I can just simply just raise it all the way up. Or if I want to keep constructing right here on the actual face, I can push this out, right? Or I can even go ahead and try to do the same thing over here, right? And continue to do number of, of different sketches right here. Pull it in or just push it out. Once here, I can even go and delete faces. And you can see how all of a sudden I'm working with 3D models from scratch. Once I do this, I can also add different rule packages in order to try to sketch this type of, uh, of 3D models. Not only that, but I can even go ahead with the existing model that I just added. And I can modify this model inside of RGIS Pro. So I'll simply just select on the feature. And I want to edit one of the faces. <clears throat> now, I can be able to simply just pick a face, for example, of a multi-patch, and then just automatically start working with it. You can pull it in different directions that you can see. So this is very cool because it's all within the GIS data that you're doing. And you can do multiple different things with your models, create them from scratch, do a lot of different 3D geometries without leaving your GIS world. So check it out, it's really cool. Thank you.